Oh man, feel like I'm a beached whale trying to jump. <laughs> it's been a long time since I've been involved in any sort of athletic scene. Uh, probably a good 10 years since I've last played basketball properly. Uh, jumping, I don't even know when the last time I actually jumped. It's funny, right, to think about this. Spend so much time working on squatting, working on deadlifting, and yet I never jump. Something feels off about that. Something really feels off. I don't know why I feel that way, because squatters and deadlifters, that's not the sport of, you know, you're not supposed to jump or whatever, but it's just, like when I think about athleticism, two words come into mind. Jumping and running. That's what athleticism means to me. Athletics, right? The word athletics. To be an athlete, I think the term comes from being, you know, in track and field, right? Running, jumping, that kind of thing, right? When I, when I think about athleticism in basketball, I think of Zach Levine. You know what I mean? Like, what a, what a freaking athlete. Can jump off one, jump off two, can sprint. Um, Edwards from Minnesota. Uh, who else is a freak? There's a few fellas that are absolute freak athletes. Ja Morant, I mean, he's making the news now for the wrong reasons, but he's probably the most athletic guard I've ever seen in terms of athleticism. I know Russell Westbrook, you know, bigger, stronger build, all that stuff, like he was ferocious. Um, why am I r jumping? I'm not running, but why am I jumping? Expanding from yesterday's video about you should be doing something before squatting because you're spending a lot of time in seated positions, locking down those hip flexors, making the glutes fall asleep. Extending that conversation further led me down the path of, you know, I could probably do some sort of isolation exercise, but what can I do? What can I do that will make glutes, no matter what, have to fire? So enough, started thinking, I remember very early on in my life, very early on in my basketball life, in my career, hearing somebody, someone say, probably one of the coaches that said, jumping is like 70% glutes. Now, to this day, I don't know whether that's true. I mean, I, when I got into lifting weights, I got into lifting weights. I didn't get into jumping high or whatever. So I never really looked into like that stuff. I always just assumed at the start of my training that you get your squat up to double body weight, you're going to be dunking. That was kind of the thought. And so all I ever cared about was just putting plates on, on the bar. Um, and that's all I really cared about. What I later learned is that if you don't practice running, jumping, you're not going to be good at running, jumping. Specificity is king. Strength is there. That's the potential. But power expression is a different thing. So I thought, okay, finished work, set a whole bunch, worked a triage. Then after worked in the office, doing a bunch of things seated, right? So I thought to myself, how unnatural is it for me to get into a deep squat right now and put 180 on the bar? Why don't I try with something super light and explosive? Jumping. Let's just do stationary jumps. No gather, no one-two. I'm much better with a one-two step. I can jump and grab the rim. Uh, like this, like stationary jump, uh, much, much worse. Looking at myself jump, it's cringe for me. It's cringe. I just feel so bulky, so heavy. I feel like the freaking... Shin bone is going to snap. I feel like the ankles are going to snap beneath me. The feet are totally not prepared for this body weight. You have to understand that last time I played basketball competitively, I, I was 75 kilos. <laughs> 75, maybe 77, 78 kilos. That was my weight, like athletic range. I mean, I was a kid and whatever, underdeveloped, under muscle, uh, muscled. You know, there's no lean tissue on me at all. It's just a pair of lungs and a heart and a bunch of limbs running around. That's all I was. Uh, but I can grab the rim now with 25 extra kilos. So what does that tell you now? You know, I'm 25 kilos heavier, full of muscle, much more muscle, well, probably a decent amount of fat as well. But th despite the heaviness, I'm able to compensate with the muscle mass that I have. Uh, the squats felt good. Squatting felt good after that. The one thing that I noticed was is that my descent was very, very much quicker on the squat because I did the jumps. Because when you jump, you can't descend into a, 
into a squat. Like you, you can't descend and then jump slowly. Everything got to do with jumping and sprinting is fast. Every movement that you do is fast. You can't be like, oh, we'll take it easy now and then explode up. No. Potential energy gets converted into kinetic energy. And so you have to store it quickly. You know, that, that whole reflex, you know, muscle reflex stuff works better when you move quickly. Um, I felt good. But at the same time, I'm thinking to myself, man, like, I've always had this fear of doing anything power, like Olympic weightlifting. You know, picking up jumping at 34 is probably not, not a great idea because, well, the ligaments and everything beneath me is probably tough. So if you're gonna do this stuff, I know it seems like it's nothing, man, but you can really get messed up. Your meniscus, your ligaments in your knee, all that stuff, like it's a different ball game with 20, when you're 25 kilos heavier. So I'm mindful of that. I like what it does to the muscular system, this jumping business, explosive power and all that. But there's other things involved in the human body you know, I know us meatheads all we think about is muscle, but there's other things, man. There's the meniscus in the knee doesn't give a shit what you like, what you don't like. It has not tolerated this for a very long time. Same with the ligaments, same with the tendons. If you want to jump around, that's cool, man. We're going to get inflamed. So that's kind of along the lines that I'm thinking. Um, I like the muscular kind of loosening. Um, I, feel, I felt really good, like through the hips. Uh, you know, when I got to the squat because of the jumping. It was like a great, great, great warm up. I really liked it. Um, one thing though, I was looking at the videos of, the, of, of me jumping. One thing that sticks out in my mind is that, look at that bottom position of me jumping. Look at that. What do you see? As I'm kind of gathering myself before the jump, I look exactly, I mean exactly, in the same position as when I squat. Look at that. Doesn't that remind you of something? Me squatting and me jumping, identical. So what does that tell you? Well, the body's going to the spot where it generates most power. Look at the knee lever and look at the hip lever. Where am I generating the power? Just look at the levers, draw a midline, midline of the foot all the way straight through up. Where am I biasing my, my, my body, my limbs towards? The hips. The hips, that's where the power is for me. It's just interesting how some positions, like when you load up a 90, 95, 100% of your, of your max, when you're going for a max, your body just goes into the same position. And power training is essentially max effort. You know, same thing as the squat. I just found that really interesting. Um, another thing which, which I'll say before I let you guys go is I felt my teardrops, the, 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 the inner quad, uh, really, really flare up. Like I almost felt like they were cramping up. Um, vastus medialis that's also another interesting thing why? I don't know but there you go guys some food for thought for me definitely I like what happened but I'm very scared about the whole jumping business appreciate all of you guys, I'll catch you in the next one peace out